Pardon. <laughs> Hello, sketchbook warriors and sketchbook heroes. Sketchbook warriors, let's uh, we got some battles. <laughs> I've got little horses here too. This is a really cool little little figures. But uh, we're going to put our armor on, especially when you share your work. You, your sketchbook, your sketchbook should be a safe place. Sometimes you got to put your armor on because, man, uh, <laughs> we're sometimes we're scared of showing our work and people say stuff. And and how do you do that? It's just they're just sketches. Really, they're just sketches. People sometimes they're like, oh, it doesn't look like. It. They feel like, okay, we're studying, we're learning, we're we're growing. You know, you don't you don't laugh. You don't. Well, some people do <laughs> laugh at little kids when they're learning to walk and they they look like they're drunk. And that's the thing, you know. That's what learning looks like, you know. Uh, and and being open to learning. So here we go. Uh, it's just sketching. So uh, nothing very serious, but we have a focus. We have a focus. Our focus is just to observe and try to draw what we see. We do have some drawings, so let's go to those. And um, I think it's just a warm up. Actually, there's entangles. Entangles is a good way to go. So let me share my screen. Uh, here we go. I think it's a screen one. No, screen two. Yeah, there we go. I, ever since I moved my setup, actually for for a couple of years I had this setup. Uh, so there we go. I'm sharing. There we go. So this is entangles. It's a good way to start learning and, and shapes and practicing your drawing. But uh, it's not really ob observational drawing. Uh, so this is a tangled pattern. We can try to copy it, like uh, break it down. But the zingle pattern pattern is kind of interesting. It looks like it. Um, we can copy the pattern itself, the, the way they they did it. Uh, we can try to or copy it like uh, for accuracy. And I'll show you the difference. There's two 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 different things going on here. Uh, I don't know if I can zoom in. I wish I could. Uh, ooh, magnify image. Oh, that's new. Oh, that, ooh, wow. Okay, that didn't really. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, you know, that looks. There we go. That's what I wanted. There we go. That's what I want. Yeah, I can see how it's it's. You can see the the way it's the pattern here. It's just a pattern. So uh, we'll copy that pattern in a, in a square, I guess. I won't worry about accuracy or observational drawing. I'm just going to be doing the pattern because there's a pattern. And I guess I'll do that. We'll do that one. And then, uh, yeah, you can see how they did it here. And then we've got this pattern, which is interesting. I see a triangle and then uh, these little nodes out here. Because I can copy it for accuracy or I can copy just the, the pattern. And then this one, yeah, this one, this is interesting. Actually, why don't we start off with this one and then we can do the patterns. This one I can break down. All right, so we'll break this one down. We don't always have to break down. We can just look at the pattern and copy the patterns. Uh, this will, I'll try to do it kind of quick and simple. And then we do get a little more complex with our drawings. Here we go, let's see. And feel free to put stuff in the chat. Um, there's our, our uh, I'm gonna break, I just put a rectangle over that just to see where things are. The toughest thing when you're first learning to draw is to see space, learning to see space. It's the toughest thing. And, and time, <laughs> time and space. Einstein said time and space are together. Okay, so here we go. We can break this in half and you can see that half. I can see that half there. Ah, something in the chat. Awesome. I have to draw with my left hand today because I have surgery. Oh, good challenge. Take on that challenge. Yeah, that's cool. That's awesome. You see, and that's that's what uh, people uh, when you're learning sometimes you know, the fear of failure, but fear, uh, but if when you understand, okay, I'm trying something new, being brave, trying it, trying it out. Oh, that's good. So we got a lefty out there. Um, you know who did that? Uh, one of my favorite artists did that. He um, he his name is Leonardo da Vinci. One of my first favorite, uh, most inspirational artists because he was more than just an artist. He was a scientist, and um, yeah, he had to draw with his left hand um, the la latter part of his life. All right, here we go. Let's see, let's move this down just a little bit. And then this one gets moved over, I think just slightly. I think I can have to move it, move it, move it. Oh, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. So now I've, I broke this down into fourths so we can see the space a little better. Um, ooh, like right in the middle is here. Well, this, is, this one's actually quite a challenge. We can actually just draw it to draw it. But if you're aiming for accuracy, you got to observe and really see the angles and see, yeah, like here's a, this, this center point. It's almost in the center of this uh, rectangle over here. It's almost in the center because if you look at the middle there and then the middle here, it's it's almost a little to the left. That helps. And then you've got this angle here and this angle here. And these are perpendicular, which means there's like a 90 degree angle. Math wise, this would be the symbol right there, 90 degrees. Uh, that's 90 degrees and that's that's about wrap if you're brand new here here we use wrap to break things down we look for ratios which is the height compared to the width then we look for angles a and then we look for uh proportions and placement and practice and each one of those uh, is a study in itself so um all right we're uh, we're putting all those uh, practices together we're putting all the lessons together so just hold on tight 
hold on tight. When I do see lines, I do imagine them keep uh, like going on. That kind of helps with accuracy as well. Uh, imagine these lines kind of going on. And uh, this kind of helps because it helps. I can see this point because it just takes two points to make a line. There's a point here and then there's a point up here. And then I can, I can, uh, I can, it helps me with those shapes. There we go. Ah, ah, we'll just use that. We'll use that as a guide. And then we'll do the other drawings and we'll call it, uh, we'll call it our first session. We'll do this real quick. Thank you for joining us. Here we go. Let's take, it's our first battle of the night. Uh, so now that the weather's changing, really nice getting the uh, little wind. We had some hail for the first time in a long time. Uh, I'm looking for, oh, I'm looking for my chat. Here it is. Screenshot this. There we go. And put this out there. Capture. And set it out to the ether. Send it out to the, the chat. Here we go. Everybody's got that. All right. Let's go. Let's jump into this. Stop sharing and uh, jump into this uh, this kite drawing. All right. So here we go. Here's our paper. Uh, turn it around, I think. There we go. Again, just if you know, if you're new here, I'm I'm working like I'm gonna. I, I'm I've got a whole list of warm ups, and I have this is this is what I came up with. <laughs> a quick side note. All right. So we have our warm ups. Warm ups. The warm ups. Uh, warm ups. <laughs> Uh, th those are from one minute to five minutes, right? And then you have somewhere between, you know, some there is your practice. It's, it's kind of like warm ups, but it's a little more serious. You can go from five minutes to, I, I don't know, some people practice for a long time. I, I don't, th I think, I think a good 20 minute, 15, 15 to 20 minutes is good. It depends on what you're practicing. Could go longer. Some people go for hours for your practice. And then you have the art, the art. The art is where you're really just using what you're learning and just really, really uh, making it, even if it's just scribbles. And then here, this is like from here to here, I call it the lessons and the learning because you're just trying to just just explore and experimenting with your warm ups and your practice. And then once you got you get through the learning, this 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 block right here, once you get through this learning, then you get to the art where you understand these principles, you understand the, the elements and um, and the warm ups will kind of help you get through that. Right. Uh, and, and the whole world will open up for you. It will um, as far as, um, you know, all the arts and stuff. I think drawing is so fundamental and important to so many other things. Anyways, <laughs> enough philosophy. I mean, that's half the battle, really, um, knowing what you're doing, and why you're doing it. All right, here we go. I'm just going to put a rectangle here. I'm just going to draw it out. I could use the paper as a rectangle, but we're going to we're going to just uh, just go with this. And it's just a sketch. I'm not worried about accuracy, accuracy. I am, but I'm not totally a slave to it. So I've got my rectangle, which is a little bit smaller than my paper. And then I'm breaking that into fourths. And that's the ratio, the height to the width. It looks, that's, I know it's that kind of rectangle. I'm not, I mean, I can get a little more accurate in that ratio. I know it's not a square, uh, but uh, it's it, that's pretty close. Now here, this is that point, right? This is the point that's going to put it all together. Uh, I've got my my area, my space, where I'm going to draw this. And I can make it bigger or smaller if I wanted to. But I know it's not in the center center. It's a little bit off center to the left and a little bit lower. So it's about right there. That's like the middle of the kite. Now I know that the kite's going to go way out here. So I'm going to get that X for that kite. It's kind of like, I would say probably, it's not in the middle. It's above the middle. Uh, it's right there, this angle there. That's the, the, the heart of the kite, that one. And then this up here, also going through that middle point. And coming down, oh, I didn't uh, draw a line all the way down. It'd be interesting to see where it kind of kind of hits. I'm thinking it hits. Uh, ooh, oh, well, I'm gonna have to get a ruler and do it because I didn't do it here. It hits. Uh, oh, 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 right there. It hits over here. I thought it was down here, but it hit, actually hits right here. So somewhere over here, and I can just imagine it. It kind of comes out this way. See, that's gonna totally fix our accuracy from here to here, and it's just slightly. It's not even that much. It's not even off that much. There we go. That looks good. So there's our center for our kite. Now let's get the other lines. We've got one up here because the kite goes all the way up there and then it comes down past this line. So you just need to find those two points, those two points to make a line right here and right here. So it goes from here to here on our on our little plus there. And then here we go. Bam. Yeah, that's a good practice exercise, putting dots and then just trying to make the, the lines in between. There's one dot, and then the other one is right, really close to the edge, right about there. And um, here we go. And it looks like it's not symmetrical. It looks like this side probably a little bit shorter. 
So I don't know if there's something wrong with my with my uh, spacing or who knows. Yeah, because it looks like it should probably be maybe a little more over there. That's not a big deal. I know it's off a little bit. And then the bottom point is down here. It's down, right, I would say right about there. Right about there. And then now I've already got these two points over here. And I just need to bring it down. Bring it down. Yeah, and there it is. It cuts through that little, there's a little triangle right in there. I see it on the original. It just cuts through there just a little bit from point to point, right? And there's that point to that point. Now I can go darker because I feel confident. I know it's not symmetrical. Let me try to look to see if that's symmetrical. No, it's not. So there's something There's something that's off a little bit. Um, I, I don't know if I, it was probably this. This should have been over maybe a little bit more. Should have been over a little bit more. Ah, it's no big deal. I can I can play with it and, and, and push and pull a little bit if I really needed to, if it needed to be that accurate. But most of the time it doesn't. It's just a sketch. You were just studying. You know, it's perfectionism is kind of uh, is a is a can be an enemy. You want it to be perfect, and then it's like ah, and it's it's not uh you know it's it's about the practice. It's about the process. You see how I did this. If you really wanted to go, you know, more, I can I can move it over and make all these erasers and erasing to fix it. But uh, and I can see the the problem. It's a symmetry problem. No big deal. Let it go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Next step, the tail. So here it goes. The tail of two cities right here. It comes down, it flows through here, and then it comes up, and then it ends over here. You can see that flow of that line coming down here for that kite. A good first drawing here. First drawing of the night. If you you can be practicing your warm ups, you can be uh, you know you don't if you don't like kites, <laughs> if you're scared of kites, and that's a real thing. All these phobias. I would probably huh. That's interesting. It's bugging me a little bit. I can bring it in. Eh, it's all right. It's just sometimes you gotta let, let it go. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, believe it or not. Well, that's how I've gotten to. That's how I've got it. But it can be. It can be stifling. Perfection can be. Uh, what is it called? Uh, a paralysis. Per, per, perfection paralysis. Paralysis from analysis. Like ah, but it's uh, overcoming that. So there's going to be one bow there, and the bows are actually right over the um, the line. Ah, oh, fear of kites. <laughs> yeah, fear of kites. I don't know. There's, I'm sure there's a lot of people fear. There's, there's phobias out there. As a warrior, you got to learn to see them uh, and understand them because they're real. Some people are scared of hair. There's a thing. Uh, look it up. Uh, look up. Uh, look it up online somewhere. Do uh, phobias different phobias? I know arachnophobia, uh, acrophobia, uh, claustrophobic, claustrophobia. There's different phobias. Um, and uh, yeah, and those are real. Those are real. Those are real. There's there. I'm sure there's something for drawing phobia. I'm sure. And there's uh, anyways, <laughs> I've got my four. I can see my spacing here is probably off. That's OK. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, that's all right. I, this one should probably be a little higher up. I'm not going to erase it. See, it's not about perfection. I can see the mistakes and OK, let it go. It's all right. Or if I wanted to fix it, but I'm not. I'm not I want to practice my drawing, not my erasing. So I can see this angle for this bow. I can see this angle for this bow straight up and down. And I can see this angle for this bow. Again, we're looking for angles. Look at these angles. And, and then this angle here for this bow. Look at those angles. Look how beautiful those are. And what's crazy is there's not that many angles. Well, <laughs> actually there are. The main ones is uh, there's vertical, horizontal. Then you have your diagonals, which are your 45s. And then you have infinity, <laughs> all the angles in between. I mean, you can divide, 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 divide all the angles in between and go to infinity. But really, you just need your vertical, horizontal, and your diagonal and see where they're at in between there. See, this one's almost vertical. All right. <laughs> Getting philosophical here. Yeah, infinity. That's a crazy idea. Anyways, we're just going to put these little bows on here. I'm not, I'm not little bows on. Ooh, speaking of science, <laughs> I'm really, I'm, I have such a curious mind. Yeah, speaking of Leonardo da Vinci, he loved to live in this time. He was a perfectionist. He didn't actually get a lot of paintings done because of his perfectionism and who knows what else. But uh, he was a thinker. He was a thinker like myself. Um, yep, yep, yep being curious, asking questions. Well, how do you do that? What is this? What is that? You got to ask questions. You got to be curious. I know some of these are bigger, smaller. I'm, I'm not worrying about it. I really, we've had a, a shaky start. We had a <laughs> crazy week in Nashville and a crazy couple of weeks with uh, newfound information, which uh, I don't know if I'll share. If Ellen's here, I'll share with Ellen. 
but um, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, look, and there it is. There's our kite before we knew it. Um, and we can fix it up, clean it up, or ink it up if we want to clean it up. Um, but that's the kite. All right, let's get to the, um, and you want to do some practice, some shading, do whatever you, you need to. You got to know what your focus is, what you're, what you're working on, even if it's just a practice. Look at the spacing, look at how all that kind of went in. All right, uh, let's let's get to. Uh, I'm I'm not going to show them. I already showed them. Uh, and that is the uh, our practice, uh, practice, practice. Yeah, it really is all about the practice. All right, so um, let's start off. It is in a square. Well, actually, I don't know. It, it does look like a square. I don't know. There's two different designs, but we'll start off with some kind of square. It doesn't matter. You can actually go really small. You don't actually even have to do these that big. You can do a bunch. You can do a bunch. You can go this small. You can go that big. You know, fill your paper. It's not just a warm up. It's just exercise. Even just practicing drawing these squares is, is a good exercise. You know, a good warm up. You're drawing squares, changing the angles, adding variety. Now here we go. Here's our square, and and it's it's kind of just these arcs that are kind of in here. So we're gonna go for arc. Here's an arc there. Watch my spacing. Uh, probably right about there, somewhere over the rainbow. I'm using my wrist, as you notice that wrist, wrist action to get really nice clean lines. And you can be sketchy, but um, you know, you gotta work on, I don't know, there's, it depends on what your focus is. But you see here, I'm using my wrist on this. Sometimes you use your shoulder. Sometimes you use, uh, you gotta know when to use what. I see I'm using just my wrist and I get these nice little arcs and I'm just, and you can, <laughs> there's all kinds of little tricks. All right, there we got three, three lines. I think that's that's good enough. And then all you've got is these arcs, right? So there's these arcs. I'm trying to see how it's broken down. Uh, right. Oh, interesting. Hmm. I'm going to do it a little different. I see the way they did it. They they did these little circles first, and then they did that. Well, actually, why don't I make little points? That, that's that's the point. I like that better. because And that helps me divide. I know I'm going to see this line here and divide it into thirds. That's a good skill, dividing things into thirds. Okay, I see threes. All right, so there's thirds. I'm moving my dots a little bit to make sure those are thirds. Then up here, it's fifths. But we can use the same. Oh, oh, I, I see. I'm trying to see a pattern. I see the pattern. I see the pattern. Okay, so oh, watch this. Here's the pattern. So the pattern is this. So from the middle of this side, we go straight up. See the middle between these two points? We go straight up and right there. That's the point. That's the point we want. Yeah, we gotta find patterns. Patterns are so huge. That's how AI is working, believe it or not. It's just patterns. You see things repeat, right? When you do stuff, you start seeing things repeat too. And uh, you can learn from it or, or, or grow from it. Sometimes you make the same mistakes. The thing is to not make the same mistakes. But the thing is first is to make the mistakes. You actually have to make mistakes to learn. Uh, anyways, getting philosophical again. So here we go, the middle here, let me see if I can go up. I'm gonna have to probably bring it up to the right or left a little bit. Oh, actually, hmm, interesting. We've got this space. I'm just gonna go kind of bring it over here and then another dot over here. That'll give us one, two. Uh, 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 um. Oh, yeah, it's all good, it works. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll do something like that, three. And then I'll go from the middle here again. I don't know this might be confusing. If it is, just do the best you can. Just just put those ovals in there. You know, I'm trying to shoot for for a pattern, and there I see the pattern. This is almost like a brick pattern. Okay, so I start off with my thirds here. And that's broken. This line is broken into thirds, and that's three parts. And then up here, this is broken into four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and I just brought the center up, and then a little bit off center, and then here up here, I I found the center here and went up there. And the center here went up there. I think that's good. I'm going to go from the bottom up because it's these uh, arcs. These arcs have been around for hundreds of years. Oh, okay. We're going to just make a line, a line, and then we're going to arc it. Uh, arcs. Arcs have been around since uh, at least the Roman times. Uh, the arcs, that's where architecture comes from, right? Architecture. This is bigger than this one. That's okay. I'm going to crawl across. Let's make it, let's make it, let's pretend. Oops. Go up that way, eh, not a big deal. Let it go. And so we'll do the same thing up here, do our lines. They're, they're kind, of, kind of coming out of the center too. They're kind of like radiating. So these lines, you're kind of almost aiming to this corner that's over here, kind of aiming to this corner. There we go, that's it. 
So I'm just doing a pattern. Patterns are really fun. They can kind of, um, that's what uh, Zen tangles are about. Zen tangles are about creating these patterns and getting lost in the patterns, getting lost in the flow of the art because you're just repeating stuff. It's almost therapeutic. Uh, it's more repetition than actually observing and, and really making the observation. So you can actually get lost. These are bigger than these. That's all right. I'm losing the pattern. I'm losing, well, it's all right. I'm losing the battle. <laughs> losing the pattern in the battle. Yeah, because there's actually dots above it. Meh, my spacing is off. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Here we go. It's about the pattern. So uh, there's like these little flowers in between. So let's get those little flowers in between. It starts off as a little uh, like teardrop shape. And then there's two on the sides. One, two. Teardrop shape in the middle. And then on the sides. One, two. See, it's just decoration. Teardrop shape in the middle. And then two on the sides. And these are all just shapes. These are all just shapes. And the next level is form. Next level is form. And that's what the warm-ups. The warm-ups are all going to be numbered. So, you know, you'll be able to do the warm-ups. And the warm-ups will be one minute to five minutes. I think one minute. I'm going to try to keep the warm-ups to one minute. And then with a, a, an accompanying lesson, if you need more than the warm-up. So you'll be able to learn how to draw really quickly just by going through the warm-ups. And if you don't understand the warm-up, you'll be able to go to the lesson. That's my that's my vision, my idea. Now, the, <laughs> the challenge is execution. Because uh, it's all in planning right now. It's all in planning. But the thing is, uh, better than anything is just practice and problem solving. You want to practice your work. You'll see mistakes like I'm doing right now. But uh, the, the whole thing is, you know, figuring things out, problem solving. Right. Problem solving, figuring things out. How can you make it better? Right. How can you improve? So here we go. Let's uh, get our other arcs in here. There's one. I'll pretend this one goes off. I think it goes off page. Yeah, it does go off page. And then it just goes off that way and that way, like a letter Y. And then I'll put the little flower in there, I guess. Uh, the little teardrop in the middle and the ones on the side. That's fine. OK, that's looking good. And then now there's there's these other arcs. In the, in the middle. Yeah, the Romans about uh, uh, a little over 2,000 years ago. A little over 2,000 years ago, the Romans, they built the aqueducts and the water systems and concrete. They're, they're actually, they, they're, they're known for developing concrete, which actually produces, uh, they have found, uh, produces gases. But they're actually trying to find other substitutes for the limestone that, so it doesn't produce gas. So what I'm, I'm actually putting these little arcs in inside these little shapes. This is good eye hand practice. And doing little patterns like this, little doodles, good, good exercise. Doesn't really help with observing too much, but it's good. Good just to get lost a little bit. Good for beginners too, just getting you know, creating, making. There we go. There's those. What else? Oh, we have a, a thickness, like arcs. That's where I came up with the arcs. There's a thickness to it. So um, from the center to the left, there's a just echoing that, and it, it makes it look thicker, and then it's shaded in. I did that one here, and then, then just do the other ones. Follow the pattern. It repeats. <laughs> I would do that to my students. Just follow the pattern. It repeats. And I would repeat that over and over. Just follow the pattern. It repeats. Just follow the pattern. It repeats. Just follow the pattern. <laughs> yeah, because seeing the pattern, you know, it's like, okay, well, there's the pattern. There's the patterns and examples. And, you know, if you can do it once or, oh, iteration, that's an awesome, uh, it's a little slight pattern difference. There's an iteration here. These are a little bit bigger than these. So that's, it's called an iteration, slight change. And that's creativity. Just changing things a little bit. The iPhone 6, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 8. The hardest part is innovation and invention, creating actually something new. Or inno invention, that's, that's it, innovation. Innovation, I think, is just making new again, innovation, new, new again. So that's the iteration. That's where you're just, just changing it a little bit. That's what you see. Like new LED light bulbs, new different, you know, everything's just a little bit, you know, different, a little better. And if you see things, just how can we make it a little better? And that's growing and learning. Uh, what else is there? Oh, some dots. 
there's dots and I don't have enough space. That's one of the problems, space. But it just goes up and then down. So it's in this angle here. So if you're looking at this little triangle here, it just goes up and then down. So uh, there's a point at the top in the middle. And then there's four uh, in between. So I'm just going to do those two and then two again. And then, and then that one and then two in the middle. So here I go again. If you didn't catch that, I'm catching the middle that's at the top, the ends, and then putting two in between those three points. So we got two here on this side, and then two on this side. Boom, there it is. And here we go again. And we see a pattern. You see a line because there's those, all those dots are like in a line. There's our three dots. And then we put two more dots. And because it's a pattern, you think that there's a line there, but it's just an illusion of points. Now, here we go. Let's uh, get our other one. And it's just design. It's just simple, simple design. There's so many out there. So if you look for, up for Zentangles, Zentangle.com or Zentangles, it's a, it's a good way of getting lost in your work. Zentangles and just doing designs. That's that's great. But if you're learning to draw, this is a good little uh, for beginners, beginners. But really observational drawing, you want to learn, uh, basically look at stuff and try to draw it by looking at it. All right, here we go. I'm doing my pattern, dot at the top. There we go, nice and easy. I can just do three here and see still. I don't know if people will notice. That would be a good one. Which one is different? <laughs> Which one breaks the pattern? Same and different, right? Compare, contrast. We've talked about that the last couple of weeks. Compare, contrast. Oh, that's it. I'll just put a little fake dots right in there. Ah, there we go. That's it. And there's another pattern. Let's see. Where is it at? If you haven't finished, you can finish that. Oh, no, there's actually some more lines here. Um, some lines that kind of go to the center. Does it? Yeah, it kind of looks like it's aiming towards this bottom point here. Yeah, there's a bottom point. So, oh, this is actually a good exercise. I, I get this a lot in drawing. I see uh, where I have to kind of pretend I see a line. And this is actually even like perspective where it's kind of going down to a point. But uh, the, that's uh, kind of like how I did the kite. And it goes there. So here, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it with important lines first. So I, I pretend there's a point right here. This top one is just going straight down to that point. It's kind of aiming towards that point. You got to know what you're aiming for, right? So here it goes. Then everything else is in between, kind of aiming for that. Then everything else in between, aiming for that. Aiming for that, we can keep going down. The angles, right? Here we go with angles again. It all, it's all connected. Your brain is connected. Here we go. There's a point right there. The first top one, that's the easiest one because it goes straight down to the point. Then these other lines kind of going to that point. And that's the point. That's the point. The point of no return. All right, here we go. So here we go with all these other ones. Just again, following the pattern. Following the pattern. Yep, 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 there it is. To the next one, here's my point. Get the top one, that's the easiest one. Then getting these other side ones, maybe these 45 degree, oh, not, not quite, but those angles here. And then getting in between, in between, in between. Breaking up that space. Breaking up that space with a little design. That pattern here. These are just like little doodles. Nothing too, nothing too, uh, what did I call it a couple of weeks ago? Where it's like really important, where it's accurate, like a face or something. If it's off a little bit, it's not, not a big deal. All right, here's the point. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's get ready to go to the next one. Getting lost. You can get lost in these drawings with little doodles. And then if you want to shade, if you want to do other stuff, just, just practice shading. So it'd be good just to practice shading, you know, without any con real consequence. Like, okay, hey, your shading's off. Who says, you know, it's just practice. You know, lawyers don't win. They're, they're what they call it. <laughs> lawyers don't win every case. That's why it's practice. You know, they law, law practice. Even doctors don't save every patient. It's, they have their practice. All right, here we go. I like that shading. All right, all right, all right. Do the best you can till you know better. And when you know better, start doing better. Then we've got our triangles. Let's try those out. They're going different directions. It's really interesting. I like that design though. We have, a, I'll start off with the triangle in the middle. This triangle, try to get it to be uh, almost, it's not a perfectly equal, dis, equilateral. Equilateral means equal on all three sides. I can see this is my shorter side and these are 
uh, both the same. Oh, what's that? Scalene? No, there's that. <laughs> going back to my one of my favorite math classes, geometry. Uh, what it was called? Uh, there's a, it's a symmetry, symmetrical. There's a word for it. I can't remember. Anyways, um, there's that triangle in the middle. Then there's a middle point. And all you need is two points to make a line. So uh, we have first started off with three points, three points for the triangle to make all those lines. And then uh, all we need to do is now the points from the outside go to the middle, outside to the middle, or yeah, or from the middle up to the outside. And there's that. And then all it is is a, a zigzag pattern, a zigzag pattern, zig, zag, like a Z, going off each side, zig, zag, and then here we go, zig, and zag, and then we go out from there, there's a circle, ooh, these are like synapses, <laughs> brain synapses, like brain connections, you're connecting ideas. That's a good way to remember things. Good way to. That's why I use RAP to draw. RAP, R A P P, to help you remember. R A to the double P. We're looking for ratios, angles, proportions, and just practice, practice patience, persistence. There we go. Let's. Uh, then from here, hmm, there's another triangle up here. Let's see at this angle. There we go. And same thing, we've got our triangle with a point in the middle, and then we do that pattern going out. And then we do the zigzags. And the zigzag points to this one, so it goes in and then out, pointing towards our, our these center things. And it goes down and up with a point up here. Am I, oh, am I going off the page? Let me zoom out. There it is. I got an, my other light in here. Oh, it's still kind of, I don't know. I have to play with the lights. I have been getting this ugly shadow that I don't like now that I've been in this new room. Uh, but uh, it is what it is. And then we go up, down, and uh, circle. This is going to be the last uh, abstract <laughs> stuff that we do. We're going to get to, I guess we're going to get to, I don't see, I, I think they're pretty uh, tough drawings next. I don't know. I'll see which one's the easiest one. Oh, there's the rabbit ones. The rabbit ones. Duck season, rabbit season. Uh, here we go. I'm just, I'm just doing the patterns. These are actually pretty fun. I, I would like to see this in color or maybe even a painting. So that's what it is. I mean, here, this is, could be like a warm up. It could be like a practice where you actually take your time, actually even make smaller ones. You get really lost in this work. You can get lost in this work. And then here we go. Let's put another, some more zigzags. I'm gonna zig, uh, zag this way, zigzag, and then point to the circle. Then I'm going to zigzag. You can make them different sizes. You can play with this, the whole pattern thing. Well, let me see. I can do another one. I think there's another one. Oh, I can put in one right here. Actually, there isn't one right here, but I, following the pattern, I can say that here's another triangle with the uh, center. And I'm just doing it freehand without the points now at this, this point. And then I can go out and then in, then in, and then out, to connecting these this pattern, in, and then out, and then put another circle here. See, and then just play with that. Just play with that. Okay, here's another circle. Just follow that pattern. I can go in, out, and add another triangle right in here. Then in, out. And you, you, you'll you come up with uh, some interesting designs. And, and uh, there we go. That's it. That's a good warm-up. I'm not going to continue there. If you want to shade one side, that'll give it start giving it some form. So you shade one side dark, then maybe even darker with another side. If you want to use watercolors or inks or other stuff, play play with that. I'm gonna go darker. I want to really want to show a different side. Almost makes it more three dimensional. There it is, and I can play with that. All right, that's enough for our warm ups. That's enough for these little abstract warm ups. Fear of kites. I wonder if there is. Somebody should look that up. Fear of kites. All right, here we go. We got a lot of pictures here. What are we going to go with? Oh, I see Snoopy in the house. Like several Snoopy pictures. No, no need for uh, drawing. She, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> she put these in for just uh, amusement. This highway patrolled by aircraft. Eh, no, funny. Okay. And, but no need for drawing. Unless somebody would like to. Uh, it says it's really, uh, I should show what I'm looking at. Oh, I think that's it. Uh, yeah, should we just stop it? Yeah, we'll stop it.
stop our recording. Are we are we on it? Let me see. Are we on? Oh yeah, here we are. No, we'll just keep going. Let me share my screen and play with this. Number two. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking at these cartoons while you're while you're drawing and practicing. This air highway patrolled by aircraft and it's <laughs> he's landed. Uh, it's kind of weird. I haven't I don't know the punchline here yet. So it's it's really it's really a good thing that people are different. Wouldn't it be terrible if everybody agreed on everything? Why? If everybody agreed with me, they'd all be right. Oh, God. She's so arrogant. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Who, Kenny, Kenny uploaded this. this. This is a little more advanced. I'm trying to find it. You know what? The, it was the, um, oh, we can do this one. I'm not going to, I'll just break it down. Um, I wanted to do uh, maybe the bunnies, and then we'll get back to these faces. These are a little more advanced. So we'll jump to the bunnies and start a new, uh, oh, I want to do those faces. Yeah, we've got a lot of anime. Uh, too much to draw. I can probably sketch it. Thank you for uploading, Sherry. I think this is uh, our first uh, little recorded congratulations to you. Thank you for sharing. Oh, this would be interesting. Hmm. Are you here? Ah, oh, yes, you are. I see you. Okay. Uh, ooh, uh, this would be interesting to draw. Let's do the bunnies and then we'll do that guy. I don't know if we should do that. Uh, let's see. There's just so much to draw tonight. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a little more advanced. This will be one of the last ones we do tonight. Ah, let's go with the bunny. Let's go with the bunny. All right, here we go. Let's go with the bunny. So we'll break it down. Uh, nope. What's going on here? Maybe I need to go here. All right. Let's try this. Let's go around. Is it working here? 